shutdown checklist. Once the pilot has taxied to the ramp and is ready to complete their flight, the pilot conducts the shutdown checklist. The shutdown checklist ensures that the pilot properly and safely shuts down the aircraft's engine and electrical systems prior to exiting the airplane. Note, while conducting the shutdown checklist, the pilot must reference their checklists to confirm all items have been checked before exiting the aircraft. At first, pilots will rely on the checklist to guide their check, but with experience, pilots begin doing the required checklist line items and then verifying by reviewing the checklist. Once the aircraft is in a parking spot on the ramp, the pilot engages the parking brake. The avionics master switches are turned off. The magneto ground wires are checked by moving the ignition key to the right magneto, left magneto, and briefly to the off position. The pilot should notice a decrease in RPMs when each of those magnetos are isolated, and the engine will begin to turn off while the key is in the off position. If neither of these things happen, or one or both of the magneto ground wires have become disconnected and the magnetos are hot, which means the engine can be started by turning the prop by hand, which is a hazardous condition, the pilot should notify maintenance immediately after shutting down the aircraft so they can fix the issue. If the magneto ground check is passed, the pilot then pulls the mixture all the way back to the cutoff position and the engine will shut down. The ignition should then be turned to the off position after the propeller stops spinning and the key removed from the ignition and placed on the glare shield. The standby battery switch is turned to the off position. If the only parking spot available is one where the aircraft must be pushed back into position, the pilot should park the aircraft in front of and aligned with the chosen parking spot. The shutdown checklist is completed, and the aircraft is pushed back into position using the tow bar located in the baggage compartment of the Cessna 172. Do not apply pressure to the elevator or horizontal stabilizer while pushing the aircraft back, as this can cause structural damage to the aircraft. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.